Welcome to the first in a series of videos in which we will review Unity assets and recommend our favorite ones. In this video, we are looking at tools for creating human figures. We looked at different tools and identified two that met our criteria, Mixamo Fuse and Autodesk Character Generator. We will look at those in detail and say a few words about the others at the end. Here are the criteria that we used. We looked for tools that would be easy to use, create good-looking human figures, and would not be too expensive. Also very important, we looked for tools that would create human characters that are compatible with and easy to use in Unity. To give an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, we set up a simple test scene consisting of a plane, a camera, and a light source. We also used the Mixamo Prototype Animation Pack which includes pre-made animations, controllers, and scripts for simple keyboard-controlled walking. As a baseline, we downloaded some of the free, pre-made human figures, such as Mixamo's Female Character Pack and Male Character Pack. For prototyping, if you don't mind that your characters don't have their own unique look, you may want to simply use these. We also checked the triangle count and number of draw calls for each figure. Let's import Alexis from the female character pack. We set each character's rig type to be humanoid and provide the locomotion controller and locomotion script from the prototype animation pack. Now we can see what Alexis looks like in a game. A bit cartoony, but perfectly good for many games. We can see that the triangle count is about 8,000 and the draw calls are fairly low. Likewise, here is Carl from the Mixamo Male Character Pack. Now let's create an original character using Mixamo Fuse. Fuse is priced at $100, but is occasionally on sale in the Asset Store. Fuse Runs is an application on your computer. It is very easy to select a head, a torso, leg types, and arm types. Many of the dimensions can be changed, such as arm length. Also, facial expression can be changed. A variety of clothing can be added. We'll add this old-time battle garment. And I guess some blue jeans. or some other kind of pants. And some boots. And why not the gladiator helmet? Probably don't need eyeglasses. But let's add some gloves. You can also change any of the textures for even more variety. Notice the boot is showing through the pants in one place. So that is a small flaw, but not a major problem. Now that we've created our figure, we need to rig the figure, which means giving him a skeleton for animation. This is done by uploading the figure to the Mixamo website. Mixamo allows Fuse users to perform one free auto rig per week. You can do more, but need to pay for that. The rigging takes a couple of minutes. When it is done, you can see your character in action on the Mixamo website. After that, you can download your rigged character in FBX for Unity format. And import into your project. Sometimes this warning comes up. Just click on Fix Now. We set up the Fuse character as we did before and can once more run the sample scene. The triangles are a bit higher than for the free character assets. These numbers are probably fine for PC-based games, 
but would need to be tested on low-end mobile platforms. Here is another character created in Fuse to show the variety possible. Now let's take a look at Autodesk Character Generator. This is a web-based tool for creating human characters for a variety of uses, including Unity games. There is both a free version and a paid version, having more features, which cost $50 per year. Here is the tool for creating a character. There are a number of starting points to choose from. We'll choose Sibila. There are customization options. For example, we can give Sibila bigger eyes. There are a number of different hairstyles, a number of different body types, and a good selection of alternate clothing. When we are done designing the character, we download and import as we did before. Again, we run the character in our test scene, and the results look good. The number of triangles and draw calls are reasonable, and in fact there are several levels of detail to choose from. The free edition of Autodesk Character Generator offers lower resolution, whereas the paid edition has more highly detailed options as well. Here are a couple of other characters created with Autodesk Character Generator to show the variety possible. We were quite pleased with both Mixamo Fuse and Autodesk Character Generator. Both worked smoothly and easily. Each provided a reasonable variety of body types, hairstyles, and clothing, and resulted in good-looking characters. And each worked well with Unity. We especially liked the adjustable level of detail that Autodesk offers. Now a few words about the other packages we evaluated. Poser Pro Game Dev may be excellent. All the important features are listed. However, the price of $350 deterred us from evaluating it. At this price, it would be great if there were a free trial available, especially for hobbyists. Daz 3 d is free software that generates beautifully rendered 3D scenes and characters, and has its own content store. We were able to make highly detailed 3D characters and export them in FBX format. There are a few issues. The hierarchical structure of the models sometimes does not survive quite right. In this case, we needed to reposition the hair. The textures for the eyes do not seem to get exported. The poly count is very high, which is nice for appearance, but likely needs to be reduced for gaming, especially mobile. There are several solutions available for decimating polygons, and this would almost certainly be needed to use Daz figures in a game. We tried MakeHuman, which is open source software for creating human figures for a variety of applications. Only a very small selection of clothing is included, although more clothing can be created using Blender. Mostly, we did not include this tool due to the lack of detail on the face, especially around the eyes. This may be acceptable for crowds of background characters, but probably not for the main protagonist. Here is a summary scorecard. We would have loved to try Poser and wish that they offered a free trial for evaluation purposes. We hope this video is useful. If you have comments, please leave them below for the benefit of the Unity development community. We plan to make future videos recommending other kinds of Unity assets. See you next time.